Today, I'm going to take you through the process of downscaling a high definition video file to standard definition using Apple's compressor software. Now, we'll use the Australian television broadcast standards, so it'll be PAL, CCIR, and 16 by 9 resolution. So, stay tuned and I'll walk you through all the steps. There's actually not many of them at all. I hope you find this video helpful and be sure to like it if you do and also click to subscribe for more like this from me. So, to start off with, make sure Apple Compress is open. I've got my file here that I'm going to compress uh, down to a standard definition file. Now this is quite big, it's actually 40 gig in ProRes format and it is full HD we can see there. So we now just drag that file into Apple Compressor or click the add file button and we've also got all of our file details shown up in the top right then which is basically the inspector and uh, so that gives us video, audio etc. Now if we click the add output button it gives us a stack of different formats that are available in a list and we have this handy search box. So we'll search for ProRes because we want 422HQ ProRes format and then we can also select our output location. By default it's the same as the source location but you can set something different if you need to. Uh, compressible by default output it with the same name as the source file and just add the format after it. Like here we've got Apple ProRes 422HQ at the end. Now if we go into video We've got here the frame size, which is set to automatic by default. We want to change that to custom, 16 by 9. And then that makes the pixel aspect ratio changeable. So change it from square to PAL CCIR 601, 16 by 9. And then we can change the frame size to 720, and by default it will give us the 576 pixels high. And that's actually all that you really need to change. Now if you need to change any of the audio settings for yours, you can do so in the audio tab, but we don't. So now just click the start batch button and you'll be taken across to the active screen. It'll process, you can expand it to get a little bit more information about what's happening. Um, so mine says it's presently processing and it's transcoding the file. So if need be, you can queue up some more to run. But that's about it. I hope you found this video helpful. Be sure to like and subscribe.